Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is me, Wife Nan Gamer Place again, and today I'm going to share some Stardew Valley mining tips for beginners. Every five levels you reach, you can unlock an elevator which will serve you as a shortcut next time you come back to the mine. Cheese is a good food in the mine. If you can't make cheese yet, Forage is a good option, like leek and crystal fruit. I also like taking the field snack together with the cheese. Mine on a lucky day. If the fortune teller says that the spirits are happy today, then go mining. During a lucky day, usually the ladder going down to the lower level is near the ladder you used in entering that floor. Upgrade your weapon in the Adventures Guild when you're able to. You can buy swords, boots, and rings that can make you more powerful in the mine. If you die and lost some items in the mine, you can claim one of the items in the Adventures Guild. You can use the item recovery service with a certain fee, but it's only one item that you can recover, so better not die at all. Make sure to wear your rings and boots and bring your most powerful sword and bomb in the mine. Bring your coffee in case you need to rush going home and you have not unlocked the mining cart yet. Coffee can make you run faster. Going down the ladder is your priority than breaking all the stones. Some people recommend crafting a staircase for a hundred stones. I don't recommend that because it's only used for one time. Come early to the mine, as early as you can, cause time flies in the mine. Break the wooden barrel and chest cause they hold something special inside sometimes, or most of the time. Craft a torch and bring it to the mine. Some levels are very, very dark. Every level has its own theme, enemies, gems, and ores to be found. The deeper you go, the more valuable items you get and the harder the enemies are. Always watch the meter of your health and energy because you need to eat as soon as possible the meter goes halfway. Don't wait for the red bar to appear. You will regret losing important items if you die in the mine, trust me. You can find some rare fish in the lakes of the mine on level 20, 60, and 100. You will need them in completing the specialty fish bundle in the community center. The ghost fish is in level 20 and 60. The stone fish is can be found on level 20 and the ice pip is on level 60 and the lava eel fish is on level 100. Always place a chest in your mind so you can leave items there in case your inventory is full and you want to keep on mining. How deep is the mine? 120 levels. Tip, don't rush reaching the deepest level. Enjoy the game, victories, and surprises. After completing the boiler room bundle, you will be able to unlock the minecarts which is an easy way for you to travel to some parts of the town. The bus stop is my favorite because I can go home quick before 2am. And the most important tip that I can give you is if you die and you lost multiple valuable items, just exit the game and don't save because remember, you can only recover one item in the Adventurous Guild. But sometimes there are a couple of valuable items that you will lose when you die. 
So I hope you learn from these tips. Enjoy playing the game. Enjoy mining. And yeah, thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye.